it's January and as many of you may have known my uh, wife has been having a little bit of a hard recovery from our third our third son being born and uh, if you haven't caught up on all that drama you should check out our other channel the outdoor boys YouTube channel we got tons of info about that but needless to say because of that I haven't been fishing for about a month and uh, Becca's doing pretty well today. It's a, a relatively nice day in January. We've got Nate here with us, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to go out fishing. Unfortunately, this is the boat ramp. Oh boy! Oh, that's pretty. Pretty thick. Oh boy. Hmm. All right, let's try something. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. Well guys, it's going to be kind of rough. I've got an idea. I think I got enough cleared to launch the boat. Whew. I gotta get some dry pants on. My legs are cold. Whew. Don't think I can feel my junk right now. Uh, this stuff's easy.
Oh, dang it. I thought when I got closer to the main channel of the river, I'd uh, get away from the ice. Unfortunately, it was all, all for naught. Looks like there's just a little bit of clear spaces here and there, but I'd be fighting ice for a long time. So, just to say we actually went on a fishing trip, we're gonna go and throw our, uh, throw our gear in the water here. It's Why? actually, it's actually not a decent, not a bad spot. So uh, we might actually catch something. We'll see. As you guys may already know, my third baby boy was born at end of December, a little baby Jacob. And he is healthy and beautiful, and we are so glad he's here. But it, but it wasn't without complications. Uh, my wife suffered partial paralysis in her, her leg uh, from the labor and uh, is still not able to, to really walk uh, without assistance. Um, so been uh, a little sparse getting out and going fishing plus there's been a lot of ice which uh, doesn't make things things easy I also broke the mount on my fish finder sensor so my fish finder is all skoumpus right now but it's not from doing what you think I was doing I, uh, I didn't break it on the ice <laughs> I was actually uh, uh, swinging a rake uh, and, and uh, wasn't paying attention while I'm doing it. I clipped the fish finder mount and broke it off. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I've still been doing tons of videos. I've just been focusing more on my other YouTube channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Mostly because uh, those types of videos are easier to do at home. You know, stay close and help Becca out. So if you guys are craving more videos, make sure to check out my other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel been putting out some killer videos lately it's actually been really really fun but uh i'm still still trying to get it go out fishing and uh, do do this and that got a lot of fun projects planned for 2018 me and the family we're going to japan in, in summer 2018 um, i'm also going to be taking about a month off of uh work for my my law practice and we're going to go to japan utah uh, um uh, Canada some other places and, and we're gonna be filming a lot of videos yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty exciting summer got some uh, catch and cook videos coming up uh, hopefully some collabs as well and uh, the catfish conference is coming up in February I, uh, I'm gonna put a link in the video description but check it out if you haven't been to the catfish conference it's an awesome event oh, so is it's that so the nut that you found? Yes. Uh, One nut playing with another nut. <laughs> Not seeing a lot of love in this spot. Yeah, it was an adventure. But I think, uh, I think we're done. Let's reel it in and go home. All right guys, so let me show you why the pontoon boat can go through ice when other boats can't. Um, so see it, it's got this blade along the bottom, okay? This blade right on the, on the front, kind of deflects down. What happens is when you drive at the ice, the blades go on top of the ice 
And, and what it is, is all the weight of the boat is going on these blades and it's pushing down on the ice and breaking it from above. So you're not breaking through the ice this way, you're sliding up on the ice and then it's breaking under the weight of the boat. That's just the same way that those uh, Russian ice breakers work. Only instead of one hole, it's got two. And the big thing is this boat won't get damaged from hitting those ice chunks, except on the side. So like right here, you can see a little bit of a dent and you can see you'll get little dents right here and here. Um, right there and there. And that's fine. I mean, it's not a huge deal. The big deal is you don't want to back up. And I can see these two dents here and here. I got those the first winter I did this from backing up into the ice sheet. If you hit the ice sheet with the front of the boat, it'll ride up on top and bust through, and it's really strong on the front of the pontoon. The back of the pontoon, it's not as strong. If you wanna know where I do the most damage to the pontoons, it's right here. You can see there's a nice big dent right here. That's from all the times that I've lifted that 28 pound anchor up over the side right here, and it's whacked against the side here over and over and over again. So this is, this is from the anchor. All's well, looks good under here. No dents. I love this little 9.9 uh, uh, horsepower engine. Brand new props, only 50 bucks. <laughs> well, I hope most of you guys enjoyed this video, had a good laugh. Uh, uh, even though I didn't catch anything, it was fun to get out on the water. If you'd like to see more videos from the Cats and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. Oh no, what happened to Tommy? He, he must have died going down that slide. Oh. How is this possible? He was wearing his life vest. Oh, Tommy, Tommy. Oh, if only I'd let you stay up later and given you more snacks. Why did I let this happen? Oh, oh well, better leave him. Oh, he's alive.